Hi, this is Joy with the Keystone Cottage, the Cob Chick. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about ladders, scaffolding, and systems that you may need for elevation to get you where you need to go. So we are returning this ladder from a, from our neighbor. Um, he did. Uh, he lets us borrow at every workshop, and we are ever so grateful. But I wanted to show it to you. Right here, it's actually all folded up. I think it's called the little giant ladder. It's got pieces here that extend in and out to make it lay flat or open up like a ladder would. It has these pieces that pull in and out and uh, it, it causes it to be extendable. So it's really a very nice functioning ladder. Um, so it's in the back of my truck, but I'm gonna show you the size of it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called the little giant ladder, but it's, it's pretty big. So it doubles in size of the size that you see there. I'm gonna walk over to the cottage a little bit and show you some of the things we use. Now, when we first started out, um, you'll have to pardon the area. It looks like a construction site. We just finished up with a workshop. Um, but when we first started out, we used hay bales or five gallon buckets. And then a little by little, we went to um, bigger things. So we have this ladder here. All right. This is what I just call the black ladder because it's got black on it. It's got three steps on it. It's a pretty good size. And it's maybe four feet high altogether. Don't step on this part. That's just like to hold a paint bucket. Um, in general, little tidbit here, gorilla cart. I love my wagon. All right, and then we have a step stool in here. This was a little higher than the five gallon buckets. This is a really good step stool here. So we have that, we use that one. And then I, uh, you know, as a group, we just decided we needed some scaffolding. So I made my own. I got these plans off of Pinterest. It's a simple A-frame design and uh, it's got two by twos here, which the plan on Pinterest only called for one, but I didn't think it was stable enough, so I doubled it up. So that's how we did that. And it has carriage bolts in the top. It opens only long enough for um, safety. And actually these crossbars cause a stop, so it doesn't open too far. And we anchor it with four sandbags on the corner, as you can see, like so. And on our cross beam, we have two sandbags as well. So this is one way that we use to keep it anchored. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Um, I have two sets of scaffolding like that, but I just wanted to see, um, I wanted you to see some ideas that we use for elevation and uh, to give you some ideas of things that you can use as well. So, all right, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and share the video. Thanks. Bye.